So this is a new Asus VivoBook S15 OLED and I've been using this laptop for the past three weeks as my main computer. And the specific model that I have here is the one with the Core i9-3900H and Intel's Iris 60 graphics. And in this video, I wanna share my experience with you guys. If you're a developer, student, or working professional looking to get this laptop, you should watch this video till the end because I'll be talking about basically everything, starting from the display, the design and build quality, the performance, down to the little details like how good is the keyboard and trackpad, how do the speakers sound, what's the quality from the webcam like, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to decide if you should get this laptop or no. But with that being said, my name is Yusuf, you guys are watching Tech Droids, and this is my full review of the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. Now, starting off with the unboxing, first things first inside the box is the laptop itself. Then you have your 90 watt power adapter with the power cable and few pieces of documentation like this My Asus card and the quick start guide. And you also have this small packet which contains a bunch of colorful stickers and these are really creative designs. And it makes sense to add these since the VivoBook line of laptops are geared towards the youth and creative professionals. So including stickers that inspire creativity is a good thing. Now with the unboxing out of the way, talking about the design and build quality of the S15 OLED, it's got a very similar design to previous ViewBook laptops with you know sharp angular edges and stripes everywhere. And I prefer this design. It's geared towards the youngsters. And I like it because it has a little bit of character and identity. For example, the escape key is orange. The enter key has the stripes as well. And yeah, it's kind of funky, but kind of nice in a way as well. And talking about the build quality, on the top with the S15 OLED, you have a metal lid, which feels really solid. And inside everything else is plastic, but it's very high quality plastic and the build quality is very sturdy. There is little to no flex on the deck or even on the keyboard. And the hinge on this laptop feels really good as well. It goes all the way down to 180 degrees. So you can have the display propped up in any angle that's convenient and comfortable for you. And it's a very tight hinge. And you can also open this hand, laptop with one hand since most of the weight is on the bottom. So it's, you know, balanced really well. And overall, it feels really good in the hand as well. It's very lightweight and thin, 17 millimeters in terms of the thickness and 1.7 kilograms in terms of the weight. So when you're carrying it around, it's not gonna bog your shoulders down and it's very easy to carry. If you're a working professional or a student, you can just put it in the bag and forget about it. Now doing a quick little overview of this laptop and talking about ports, on the right side, first you have a power in port for the charging cable, a HDMI 1.4, a USB Type A 3.2 Gen 2 port, a USB Type C Thunderbolt 4 port, which can support 65 watts of PD charging or power a 4K display. So you can technically power up two displays with this laptop, one with the HDMI and one with the Thunderbolt 4 USB Type C. There is also a 3.5 mm combo jack, which supports both headphones and microphones. And on the left side, you have a single USB Type A 2.0 port. And on the back, you have a bunch of rubber grips in this orange accent. And this will you know, help the laptop get some grip and prevent it from sliding around on surfaces, for example, your desk. And there's also a bunch of you know, ventilation. There's these grills for air to pass through. And there's two speakers on the bottom. These are two two watt speakers each. And the audio on this laptop is actually tuned by Harman Kardon. Now talking a little bit more about the laptop, the S15 OLED comes with Intel Evo certification. Now the Evo certification is a bunch of requirements that Intel has set for laptop manufacturers. And when you meet those, you get the Intel Evo certification badge. And it starts with a Cinelite design and 9.5 hours or more of battery backup. It also needs to have a 1080p webcam, which needs to be able to do background blur in video calls and AI noise cancellation for the microphones. And Intel Evo laptops also need to support your Intel Unison, which allows the laptop to connect to your phone and there can be a you know, file transfer, you can get notification and calls from your phone on your laptop, which is a good feature and you can download the Intel Unison app on the Play Store. You also need to have the latest connectivity features. So for example, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6E and USB Thunderbolt 4. 
And the Evo certified laptops also have Windows Hello support. So for example, the S15 OLED has a fingerprint scanner for you to log into Windows. And that's a really good list of features in my opinion. The Evo certification brings so much for the user and all of these features are really important. And the most important feature in the Intel Evo certification is the instant one second wake. So for example, if your laptop is on the desk and you open the lid up, the laptop needs to be able to wake up and show your Windows home screen in under one second, which is a really good feature. And the S15 OLED matches all of those requirements. Now talking about the technical specifications, as I mentioned before that I have the Core i9 model. To be specific, it's the Intel Core i9-3900H based on the Alder Lake architecture. So it has the hybrid system with E cores and P cores. So this laptop has six performance cores and eight efficiency cores. It also has a total of 20 threads and it can boost up to 5.4 gigahertz in terms of the max clock speed and when boosting the chip can take up to 45 watts of max DDP and those are some really good specs it also has Intel Iris XC graphics because there is no dedicated GPU here you also have 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM at 4800 megahertz and a terabyte of PCI Gen 4 SSD storage which can do up to 3.5 gigabits per second and these are some really good specs and in terms of real-world performance this laptop is really fast. Now I did run Geekbench 6 in terms of a benchmark, but as I always say, benchmarks don't really give out the complete picture or the true picture for the performance of a product. And in real life performance, the VivoBook S15 OLED flies through basically everything. Starting with basic tasks, you know, you can have a bunch of Chrome tabs open. You could be doing things like email, browsing the web, watching videos, you know, watching movies on Netflix or Amazon Prime, and all of that happens really well. You can also do demanding tasks like you know high-end coding, 3D modeling, video editing, photo editing, and I tried all of that. I'm not a developer, so I couldn't really try coding, but I did try editing videos in Adobe Premiere Pro in 4K resolution. It worked flawlessly. It could do you know multiple layers of 4K. You can add you know effects, transitions, titles, callouts, whatever you want to, and it will render out the video pretty quickly as well. And the laptop can also run Adobe Lightroom. So if you're a photographer, you can click raw photos and edit them, do some changes on the go without any issues. You can also run things like Adobe After Effects. So if you're doing animations or VFX, you can try that here as well. And I tried After Effects, it was running fine. You can also run softwares like DaVinci Resolve and basically do all the high-end tasks. I also tried gaming on the S15 OLED. I tried Valorant and GTFI. I played Valorant at 1080p low settings and I was able to get 180 to 200 FPS in deathmatch, which was unexpected. Like this laptop doesn't even have a discrete GPU. So if you're ever bored from your work, you can actually play a game or two and have an enjoyable experience. I also tried GTA 5 at 1080p normal settings and was able to get around 80 to 90 FPS, which is again, very playable. Now, of course, this is not a high-end gaming laptop. It does not have a discrete GPU, so you won't be able to play all the AAA titles, but the ones that I did try gave me really good performance. Of course, they don't really look as good as they would look on a gaming laptop, but gaming laptops are usually very bulky and they're very thick and have very bad battery life. But this one is geared towards working professionals, developers, and students who want to have a really good display, good performance, and also have all of that in a thin and light form factor, which the S15 OLED definitely has. Now talking about that display, it is a really gorgeous one. A 15 inch ASUS Lumina OLED panel, which has really good specs to be honest. It's a 2K display and has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. It has 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and it does support Dolby Vision and HDR. So you can enjoy HDR content. It's a very color accurate, bright display with 600 nits of peak brightness. So watching videos, playing games, editing videos, you know, doing editing on photos in Lightroom, all of that works really well. It's a very enjoyable experience and it is a 120 Hertz display. So the refresh rate is really smooth. So just scrolling through windows, scrolling through web pages in Chrome, everything feels really smooth and snappy. And this laptop is definitely snappy overall. Like even the boot times are really fast. I tried a boot test and the laptop was able to boot in under 12 seconds. So I pressed the boot button and I got the Windows screen in under 12 seconds, which is a really good thing in my opinion. For students and working professional, time is everything. And when you can save time, you know, you're really happy with the product. And I was, in my one month of usage with this laptop, I was able to get really good performance and especially love that display. I was able to, you know, watch a bunch of Netflix series, you know, some movies, play some games, and all of that was really fun. Now talking about battery life on this laptop, you have a decent battery life. You can get six to seven hours 
when you're doing you know heavy work and you can also get eight hours sometimes depending upon what you're doing for example if you're doing video editing and gaming most of the time the laptop won't last as long but if you're doing basic tasks like you know browsing the web doing email watching videos some light photo editing or video editing the laptop can definitely last you know a day for you or seven to eight hours and if you do run out of battery this laptop does support fast charging so you can get it charged up really quickly with a 90 watt adapter or you can use usb type c and use that 65 watt feature that i mentioned at the start so overall i'm happy with the battery life and it also depends on the display brightness i usually use this display at 50 percent brightness indoors and talking about outdoor visibility this is a 600 nits panel so it can be used outdoors but it's not going to be the best experience and it is a glossy panel so you'll get all sorts of reflections but indoors it is the best laptop display i've ever tried period now talking about the trackpad and keyboard on this laptop it was a really good experience the keyboard is a full-size layout with backlighting so you can change the brightness of the backlighting and turn it off there is a function button on top and there is a full function row here, which is really useful. So you have things like, you know, volume control, brightness control. You can disable the touchpad. You can decrease or increase the backlight on the keyboard. You can mute your microphone or also open the My Asus app with one click. And I really like this keyboard. As I said, it's a full layout. So you get the number pad and the arrow keys as well. The keys are spaced out well. They have lots of travel, lots of feedback, and the tactility is good and typing and just doing basic stuff on this keyboard was a really good experience. And the trackpad is even better. It's a huge trackpad, which is really smooth and really precise. It supports all the gestures and scrolling and doing all the Windows gestures was really fun. It's also got a hydrophobic coding, which makes it really smooth. And I really love the keyboard and trackpad experience on this laptop. Now talking about the webcam on this laptop, as I mentioned before, it is a 1080p webcam with a physical shutter. So you can close it when you're not using the webcam to avoid privacy attacks. And if you're wondering how this webcam looks and sounds, here is a webcam test. And this is a video sample from the webcam of the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED. It's in 1080p and I noticed that it's got a very wide angle field of view. You can see a lot, which is good for online meetings and Zoom calls and online classes. It's also doing a good job at handling the lighting and exposure in the image. Audio sounds pretty good. It's cancelling out all the unnecessary background noise and stuff like that. You guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this webcam quality and audio? And yeah, let's move on with the review. Now, talking about the speakers on this laptop, they're tuned by Harman Kardon and there's two of them. There's two 2 watt speakers on the bottom, one on the right and one on the left. Now, when there's the Harman Kardon name, I had a lot of expectations, but these are pretty decent speakers. They're above average. They're not going to blow your mind away in any way. They get plenty loud. They don't really distort at higher volumes. They have some bass to them as well. It's a good, enjoyable experience for a small room, but in most cases, you should be using headphones. If you're in a cafe or an office environment, I think headphones are a better option. But yeah, the speakers will do the job if you're trying to play a game or watch a movie in a small room just by yourself. All right, so now talking about thermals and acoustics, the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED has a good thermal design as well. It's pretty decent for this thin and light form factor. Starting with the temperatures on idle, I had a 39 degrees Celsius temperature. And when you do start using the laptop and put some load on it, it will hover between 65 and 75 degrees Celsius. So for example, if you open up Chrome, start watching videos, open up a few apps here and there, it'll start, you know, rising in terms of the temperature. And even if you're playing games or editing videos, you will be hovering around 75 degrees Celsius. And in my stress test, the laptop reached a maximum of 95 degrees Celsius. And that's a temperature that you will not achieve in daily life. I pushed the laptop with Prime 95 and you know, ran a bunch of stress tests to get that reading and you will probably never get that in your normal use. So thermals are actually pretty good. You know, Asus has done a good design that is managing the thermals and preventing the laptop from thermal throttling. And acoustically, the fan is audible. Like if you're not wearing headphones and there is no air conditioning or fan on, you can hear this fan. Like at max load, this fan is audible, but in most cases at normal temperatures, 
the fan is not really audible so that's that and if you're wearing headphones you won't be able to hear it anyway so thermals and acoustics are actually pretty decent in my opinion as well now talking about pricing and availability the viewbook s series is available in both 14 and 15 inch models and also oled and non-oled models the one i have here the core i9 3900h sells for about one like nine thousand rupees and there are sales happening sometimes so you can get discounts but at that price, 1,9,000 rupees, I feel it's a very fair price for this laptop. You're getting a high performance laptop with a really good display, good trackpad and keyboard. Overall, it's got all the extra features that make it worth it. The only thing that's not top quality is the speakers, but I think that's not really a huge deal breaker. Like most of the times you're anyway gonna use headphones. So yeah, it's got the Intel Evo certification, which adds up a lot of quality of life features. And overall, I think it's worth the price. So if you're looking for a laptop, in this segment which is high performance and you know premium you can definitely check this one out i'll drop links down below to the viewbook s15 oled so you can learn more from asus official website and also links to amazon india so you can buy this and if you do buy from my links it helps the channel out and in turn help me make more videos but with that being said let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or queries about this laptop which laptop are you using right now are you planning to upgrade what are your options I'll be there replying to you guys. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.